DipTrace library system can be easily customized to fit your exact needs. In Pattern and Component Editors, you can create and edit patterns, components, and their libraries. We create simple through-hole pattern. Draw it silkscreen. The first pad needs to be square-shaped with the hole, so uncheck Use Patterns Pad Properties and change its shape to rectangle with same width and height as other pads. You can add new patterns to the library with Add New Pattern function from Main Menu. Now, we create an SMD package with 100 pins. Pad properties for this pattern should be customized. With the drawing bar, you can select lines, arcs, rectangles, polylines, and filled shapes for the silkscreen. You can insert patterns from other libraries with the right click on the list of patterns. All standard libraries are located in Program Files, DipTrace, Lib folder. There are more than 100,000 electronic parts included. You can add one or several libraries to the list. It's possible to preview part before adding it. Use Control or Shift keys to select several parts, then insert them into your library. Now we sort patterns by name and save library. Press corresponding Quick Access button or select Save Item from Main Menu. Then type in the name, hint, and specify name of the file. User libraries are saved to My Documents, DipTrace, My Libraries folder, but you can select any other location. We create new IC component with 16 pins. Attach DIP16 pattern from our pattern library to it. Then, add several components from standard libraries and save this library. Standard component libraries are stored together with standard pattern libraries in Program Files, DipTrace, Lib folder for convenience. Component libraries are created and edited in the similar way. General procedures with components doesn't differ a lot from those with patterns. Files with ELI and lib extensions are your component and pattern libraries respectively. Library bar and PCB layout mode shows all available libraries. It's fully customizable. Library setup dialog box consists of two parts, library bar to the left and list of all known libraries to the right. You can specify folder and dip trace will load libraries from this folder automatically. If you uncheck Get Libraries from the folder, you can customize Library Bar manually. Add your pattern library and it will appear in the bar. However, items you don't need can be removed. 
You can add more libraries to the bar from the list of all available and move them up and down, changing their order in the library bar. Library setup works the same way in schematic module of DipTrace. The only difference, it is component libraries.